In the last videos, we have been using ChatGPT to generate code for us, but we have been using ChatGPT website to do that. What if I could use it directly from Visual Studio? Let's check it out. So here I have Visual Studio where I have a project open that has a this user object in JavaScript which has a few parameters. Let's integrate ChatGPT to Visual Studio and ask it to generate some code. So here on the plugin section, I'm going to look for GPT-4. And we are going to look for this extension here. Click install. And once installed, you get this icon over there that you can click. And log in. I'm already logged in. And if you are not, you probably see a login message over here. But I'm already logged in, so I can start producing some code and asking it to, uh, through prompts to generate some logic for me. So let's try it out. So write a JavaScript function that receives as parameter a user object and checks if that user has a property named position set. If so, print the position property to the console. Let's see how it does. So here is the code. Let's copy it all and paste it inside our example here and see if it makes sense. So it did create a function called check position and checked if user has on property named position. If so, console log that position to the console and also created a few users that are trying to run. But I have my own set here, so I'm going to remove this portion of the code, also remove this portion of the code and change the user one that the uh, ChatGPT plugin created and set it to this user, which is the user that I created. I'm going to save that and node index.js and as you can see, it has architect as its position. Let's try something more difficult. Here I have in an array of uh, users that I'm going to copy, paste it in here, and let's ask ChatGPT to generate some code to read through this array and print out some properties. So let's try it out. Write a JavaScript function that receives as parameter an array of users loop loops through the array and print out to the console the position property if the user has the name property set to Alex. Let's send this in. And there you go. Once again, I'm going to copy all this code, paste it at the end of mine, and then we can investigate it. So it created the function named print position of Alex, which receives an array of users. It will loop through those objects using a for loop. If the user's name is Alex, then it will console log the position. Let's put some tabs in here so it's easier to read. There you go. And once again, it created the user's example array for us, which we are not going to use. And in here, we're going to put our users array, which is already set actually, so clear, and node index.js. As you can see, 
architect is the position for Alex. All the other ones have different positions. So if we use this plugin, we will, will avoid having to go to ChatGPT website and type it in there. So it makes much more easy to uh, write your codes and prompts from here and also copy and paste the code to your Visual Studio project. So if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you are already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave on the comment section down below, we always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon! Bye-bye!